In this video, I will show you how to adjust the dynamics so that you can hear one part over another. If you like what you see, please click the like button. It helps the channel and subscribe. I add new content each week that shows you how to make music. I want to turn our attention to harmony and melody. Right now we have the introduction, which is a piano, and then we have the clarinet playing Mary Had a Little Lamb in minor, and then I have put in this harmony. The harmonies and the melodies need to start at the same spot. Notice how when I moved it closer, 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 yellow line, then you just let go. Both of these are lined up. Let's listen. Now, the accompaniment is a little bit loud compared to the melody. To take care of that, we're going to use this envelope tool right here. And you see that there's a, a lot of little blue lines. Let me open this up a little bit bigger for you. In music, when you see a visual thing like this, the bigger things are, the louder things are. And to make it softer or louder, you see where the double arrows are? Not arrows, but they're uh, triangles, aren't they? Like an hourglass without the thing in the middle. Let me just put it right there. Right, you're going to click on that and then you're just going to move it close together. And when they touch, you won't hear anything. Let's give that a try. Nothing. So I'm going to open these up. You click, hold, and then open it up. Now I'm going to enable the quick play so that I can go up here and just click right here and it will play from here over. And it needs to be just a little bit louder. One of the issues is you can't really hear the accompaniment against the melody and vice versa because the sounds coming from the string instruments playing here are in the same range as the sounds from the clarinet. You need to have a high sound and then a low sound. You, if you have everything together, it's harder to hear. That was better. That was much better. Envelope tool right here, soft, loud. And you can also, you need to mess around with it, play around with it. If you click another, like right there, you can make it diminuendo, click again and hold. You can make it crescendo. You can, you know, make it go down like that. So this is getting softer to louder. And here I can do the same. I need two of them though. Let me do that. If you want to play around with dynamics, this is how you do it.
when it's closer together like this, that's going to be very soft. Whoa, it's kind of an interesting looking shape. Let me move this. Uh oh, didn't want that. I want to go. Whoop, there I go. Dynamics, and you can use dynamics up here as well. That's how you adjust volume, loudness, dynamics. In physics terms, it's called amplitude, how big the waveform is. Let me get right here. How big the waveform is up and down. The larger the waveform, the louder the sound. That's amplitude. So we have adjusted the amplitude, or I have, with the envelope tool right there. All right, loud and soft, done. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.